Okay, I hope you didn't have too much trouble with this program. Um, I had to do it a couple of times. I thought, oh, I'll whip it out. But it wasn't that easy. A lot of it is getting familiar with the Scratch interface. So I thought we'd start with just moving the sprite across the screen. I'm going to start him at the beginning. And I'm doing this in parts, in steps. First have it move across the screen and then I'm going to have it change the costume and then I'm going to uh, see if I can stop it at the edge before it goes past the edge. Um, I do this so one, I could test each step and make sure I have it complete and two, um, object-oriented programming is similar. It breaks um, different actions into chunks that can be called upon uh, different times, but that's something for later. So let's move this cat across the, sc the screen. You already know move 10 steps, he goes 10 steps, but we want him to move all the way across the screen without stopping. So I'm going to take the forever loop and wrap it around this move 10 steps and click on it and there he goes. Okay, now let's bring the him back. <laughs> you need to stop the stop it at the top and then move him back. Now I want to change his costume. So we'll go into looks and switch to costume. I'll put that right underneath the move. So after you move 10 steps, he's going to move his, uh, change his costume to costume two. Okay, he knows he just changed his costume once. So, but I want him to change his, keep changing his costume. And if you recall the if statement from the slideshows, that's what's gonna help me. By the way, if you wanna see uh, the costume change, click on the uh, checkbox next to costume number. That is a great way to check to make sure everything's working properly. In a sense, it's a debugger. You could take that off when you're done with your programming easily. So let's go back into control and look for the if statement. Now you know we're going to have a yes and no answer. So I'm going to take the if else statement rather than just the if statement. Obviously, we're going to switch, we're going to if something switch to costume 2, else switch to costume. That would be costume 1. All right. So if we'll go into operators and say equals. If what equals what? See, now I can't remember what's what. Here we go. If I can't believe I can't find this. It would be if costume equals one. It's not that one. It would be sound. Oh. It's probably this. Silly me. If costume number equals one, switch to costume number two. Otherwise, or else, switch to costume number one. We'll put that in here. Click on it, and there he goes. Yay! Hit stop. Now, you might have noticed this next costume, which would work as well. I'm going to make another forever loop down here move 10 steps. Oh, geez. Keep forgetting that stop everything. Okay, click on that. And it works as well. However, let's suppose we go into costumes and we add another costume. Copy. Edit. We'll give this Let's let's close his eyes. That's a good one. Fill it in the colors. Two 
lines there. Oops. Undo that one. I want it to be black. One, two. Okay. Now that's just for another thing that the sprite needs to do. So now when I click on the forever, he's blinking his eyes, the costume is working. So I, as a programmer, prefer this way. It's more specific. The more specific you get, the tighter your code is, which basically means it's harder for it to break down. So delete that. Now what we wanted to do is stop at the edge. Does it keep going? Yeah, it's keep going. Okay, we wanted to stop at the edge. Bring him back. This program has a nice way, instead of the forever loop, take it out and they have a forever if. And I'll show you the mistake I made with it. So, forever if, why do, uh, why would it keep, why would it stop? It would be, it would stop if it reaches the edge. So, sensing if touching edge. So, actually, I don't need that equals. It already has it for me. Take that out. Touching edge. Now, this is what I did last time. I clicked on it, and it didn't go anywhere, and I was confused. So, here's a way to check. Okay. What I do is I put the say and I put in debug one. So I'll click on it and he doesn't say anything. Now that's not working. So let me see, maybe it's something wrong with the program. I don't know. So I'll put debug two. This is, you want to number each one so you know where it's coming from. So now I click. Okay, debug two. That's reaching that. It's not reaching that. But debug one. So I, I was stumped until I realized it's something with this if statement. So touching edge. Well, oh, I know. It's not supposed to touch the edge if I wanted to keep going. So we'll go into operators. So we'll say not touching the edge. Yeah. yeah, look, it says debug one, but see, it keeps saying debug one, which will take us forever to get across the screen, so we'll stop everything. Take off the debug one. Delete that, and there it goes, and it stopped. And that's how you do your first scratched project. I hope that helps and I hope you understand it. Please ask questions in the forum or when we meet online. Thank you.